And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Snapbind Mentality. Going to be our first deck today. It's Meme Tier Monday. We have four donation decks. We have four viewer submitted decks today uh, to play. This one is going to be with the new Overgrown Snapbind. Our first time playing Overgrown Snapbind uh, since it was changed up to a 5-3 instead of being a 4-3. It's going to be our first time playing this card. If you haven't really seen this card, uh, whenever you summon a follower, you immediately just kill that follower and you summon an overgrown snap bind in its place. <laughs> it has this, these associated cards, because this is one for each mana cost of like, a, you know, zero, one to two and, and so on. But um, so this could be, so this is uh, pretty cool. So we're, we're basically going to be playing this overgrown snap bind, trying to get a board full of five threes going wide and then uh, just beat them down with five threes. Uh, but then we also have like pack mentality. In here they can give them all plus two plus two and overwhelm so we can all make them seven power overwhelm units and uh just um overwhelm our opponent in one around the overwhelm snap find works really well with, with some some real cheap cards uh, especially hapless aristocrat like if you have if you have an overgrown snap find in play for one mana you play hapless aristocrat it's a it's a one one but it it's killed immediately to make a five three but then it has the last breath to make a Spiderling. Well, that Spiderling's killed immediately to make a 5-3. So with an Overgrown Snapbind in play, this is just one mana. You get two 5-3s. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, Curse Keeper, same thing, but it's two mana. Get two 5-3s. And then Warden's Prey, you you know, you know get a 5-3, but then you immediately get the last breath follower in hand also. So you may have like Warden's Prey have this die, and it gives you a Hapless Aristocrat. So for, for, two, for like one card and two mana... You could get three five threes in play. So that's pretty cool. And then we have stuff like Haunted Relic uh, and uh, Blighted Caretaker, Vile Feast, put in five threes. You know, we have a lot of ways to get some cool five threes in play. So that's what our deck's about. It's built around Overgrown Snap Vine with Pack Mentality. Um, and we also have Maokai that uh, Maokai's in here, you know, trying to, you know, care about our units dying, which of course we'll have a lot of units dying with Overgrown Snap Vine. And then tossing, so trying to level up with this. But then, of course, whenever we play over a uh, unit, then we get a sapling in, in play. But that sapling will be a 5-3 instead. So lots and lots of power here. Okay. So let's see if we can pull it off. We're going to be going with our Snapbind Mentality deck over in Normal. Because it's Meme Tier Monday. So we're just going to be having fun today. We're going to be playing our five games in Normal. And let's see if we can pull off this combo. Um, of basically just getting our seven mana unit in play. All right, let's see how our deck does. So playing against Fiora. Fiora is not. It's not a card that we really like seeing too much because we're our deck's designed on playing smaller things. So don't love seeing a Fiora right away. Mm. Kind of like this hand though. I kind of like Elixir of Iron against Fiora, and same with Vile Feast. So I think we're going to keep those two spells. We'll look for a cheaper unit. Cool. Alright, 19. Glyphs Beyond, also very good against Fiora. Like, they challenge, we sacrifice, and so they don't get a kill. <laughs> and we get to draw two cards. We just do this. Down to 18. Oh, huh. They are still not doing anything. Alright, I'm just. If they had a Fiora, they'd be playing the Fiora, right? You'd have to imagine. going to draw two cards. Ooh. No other... <laughs> Ours is the one true light. No other units to go along with this Maokai. The For now. Me. Punish transgressions. Hmm. 
this block be worth it? No. All right, hopefully we draw any unit. Probably be setting on a lot of, yeah, I was gonna say, probably setting on a lot of single combats. Sacrifice this hapless aristocrat, see if we draw something that we can play so that we can start tossing things with Maokai and start leveling up the Maokai. Good. And of course we're uh, digging towards Overgrown at Snapvine all the while. What does he want from hey Godfrey! Me? So I'm going to have to Vengeance this Screeching Dragon. And I think that's just my, I think that's just like my plan. Is really hope that Vengeance works. We'll get the attack in where we get three damage. Don't worry, I am here. Ouch. Ouch. To protect all. That hurts. I want to go home. That fight. Fashion's pretty good. All right, so my plan is just to kind of play some more things out right now. Yeah, don't need a vengeance yet. All right, one pack mentality gone. Definitely hope they don't have another Bastion. Dazzling. Hope crystallizes. Good morning, Cabo. We got some cool meme tier Monday decks. Never submit. Going on today. All right, so I do have the, the mana for Vile Feast also, so if they do have another Bastion, we will have that. Um, but yeah, big big challengers against small units, not the best combination for us. Overgrown Snapvine. Yeah. Okay. The so next turn we'll have nine mana. So it's snap vine time. That's so cruel. There is nowhere left to go but up. I'm just trying to do our cool thing of overground snap vine. Why they gotta be so mean? Why they gotta be so mean? Oh, you're saying that I should have just vile feasted right then? I don't know. I don't know why I was saying, like, I wanted to say vile feast for Bastion and stuff like that, but maybe, yeah, maybe I just 
didn't need to say Vile Feast at all. Um. All right, well, they're not drawing a card. I got my two blockers. I hope they don't have another fight spell, right? So we're going to be trying to do the overgrown snap fine thing again. But I, I just want to stay alive here. These woods belong to us. Never submit. One of our pack mentalities is gone. Butcher. Forward in the name of the Solari. So our Maokai is probably pretty close to leveling up. Yeah, 24 out of 25. So Maokai is basically leveled up. Let's attack. So no pack mentality. Unfortunately, pack mentality would be looking pretty sweet here. Your conquest ends here. But you can see the power of Overgrown Snapvine. We're just going to have like infinite 5 threes. Um. All right, so right now we're only saving one Overgrown Snapvine, which could probably keep some more alive. I don't know. Like I don't know if I want to use the the elixir of irons and keep them alive because we we kind of need the room also uh, for these. Let's keep one. Let's keep one alive. Tarek, whenever it's attacking, of course, is going to have the things be... By my honor, uh, you must die. ...will be indestructible. So many challengers over there. No! Our second pack mentality. Alright, so both our pack mentalities are gone. We only have 11 cards left. We want to find Maokai, because if we play Maokai, it's leveled up. Um, you know, Maokai gets rid of all but four of their cards. To protect all. Should make it a lot more difficult the on them. Of House Let them eat souls. Harry, repost, you are toast. Oh god. Hardly fair. Alright, let's keep this one alive. Alright, we got an overgrown snap line, so we need to draw a unit here. We can't draw a spell. Need to draw a unit. So obviously I can't fly to caretaker this thing. Need to draw a unit, so we fly to caretaker that unit. No, it's a spell. Ouch. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. So like I can make this attack. I fury the Nort. Like if they block with Fiora, they just they still trade. 
Um, I guess I had to play, play Blighted Caretaker. I should have played Blighted Caretaker instead of Hapless Aristocrat, I guess. Getting used to the deck. Oh, I don't... Why am I doing that first? I don't... I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> no reason to do that first. Okay, well, they had another Blessing of Targon. All those Blessing of Targons! But... Alright, well... Learned some lessons there. That was close. We almost came back. Um, ended up being pretty close with all of those challengers and everything, too. Their last two draws were both those Blessing of Targons. Those were both pretty good. Okay, let's see. So we'll keep Stalking Shadows, and we're going to Mulligan. Definitely Mulliganing these. Um, Vile Feast... Or a mulligan that too. Let's just keep the stalking shadows to be able to help dig. It's possible we have too many spells, just in general. That we need more units. If we would have just drawn <clears throat> that last I mean I guess like really that last turn, if we would have just drawn a unit, yeah, like if that Fury of the North was any unit there that last turn, we won that game, right? Because then we would we would have played it, we would have had two overgrown snap finds, and then we would have played the um the Blighted Caretaker. And because it could have even been Maokai, that we would have bought uh, Blighted Caretaker to weigh the Maokai. Um, yeah, if it was just anything, then we would have been able to go wide. We would have had two extra attackers, and then they would have had blockers. So yeah, we would, would have won that game if that Fury of the North was just any unit whatsoever in our deck. Because even if it was the seven mana for another snap find, we would have been able to play both of those. We would have been fine. So a little unfortunate. Okay, so that just got rid of an overgrown snap vine. So this is my only overgrown snap vine in my deck now. Because we just tossed one. Looking for trouble. There's only two it's in the deck. Nagakaburus guide us. This is problematic. This is our way. Love you. <clears throat> so we'll have, uh, we can still keep our wander alive with the elixir of iron. Possibly, possibly Elixir of Iron should be um, the new card, Troll Chant. I wonder if we would have done a better job of keeping... Um, if we would have done a better job keeping some, some things alive if it would have been Troll Chant. Killing the Mage Seeker gets rid of their scout. But I think this next turn, they do the scout attack and then I vengeance misfortune. I think we're just going to have to do that. Because, uh, you know, they, they need two attacks to level up misfortune. And so I su definitely assume they're going to do the scout attack and then I vengeance misfortune. Track them down. So Misfortune won't level up. Dangerous waters. 
So we're at nine life. You have to get me out of here. Let's me down to five. Be gone, thief. Okay. I was worried about like repose. Like if I blocked the way that I was going to originally, I was definitely really worried about repose. The weak don't deserve mercy. All right, so we're at eight, and they have this thing. We'll have to figure out a way to kill that thing. Neverglade Collector. That's a way to kill it. Let's get this in play here before the overgrown snap line. Because it'll stay out here as the Neverglade Collector, so each time that we play something, each time something dies. Slow down, will you? <clears throat> that works. Let's get this drain in. That was a really, really great Neverglade Collector draw. No, I'll just wait. We could play the Stalking Shadows right there. We'll, let's just wait. Ooh. I like that Vile Feast. So down to six. It's probably okay. I think. Collector, so this should they should die. Yep, drain them. A vile feast. That spider will die. Drain them, and so on, and then start making five threes. The sea beasts will fear us. This works out. <laughs> yeah, this is such a sweet combination. Sentinels of light. Don't fear the dark. All right, well, we're gonna need a stalking shadows to find something else, but I'm gonna just pass first. The beast okay. So this will block here. This will block here. This will block. I might as well block this one. Puts me down to zero. Okay. We can't go down to zero. Goes down to four. Okay. Four is good. We can we can handle four. Curses. Turn me to this. All right. Let's see what we get. Warden's Prey, please. Thank you. Oh, this is great. We have the two copies. We're going to just burn them out. We're going to be a burn deck. <laughs> Let's get some 5 threes. Oh, man. A Mage Seeker Conservator. So we get a good expensive spell. We already have the pack mentality that we're about to play. This is sweet. All right, we had our warm-up game. Now we're doing it. Yeah, so there, there's this eye right here, Oracle's Eye. If you mouse over this Oracle's Eye, it will show you how the spells in combat will resolve. So that's how you can that's how you can see uh, what the math will look like. Pack mentality should have a, a cool animation. GGS. All right, one and one. Life triumphs for once. That was awesome. Okay, Vladimir. Don't get paired against Vladimir too often, so this is pretty cool. Let's 
get rid of Fury and Vengeance. I don't know about, like, Vengeance has just cost so much mana, but I could definitely see keeping it. You know what, let's maybe not play Hapless Aristocrat right away, and save it so we can play, like, Maokai, then Hapless Aristocrat. On, like, turn 5. I kind of like that. Hmm. I might change that up. I may play Hapless Aristocrat here now, especially with having the Neverglade, where I just played Maokai on 4, Neverglade on 5. I may just play this Hapless Aristocrat. Okay. So we got a 4 4 Overwhelm. We could block with Fury of the North if I want to take up like this turn off. Scorching light. Nah. Everywhere. Hey Soul Raider. <laughs> yeah, they are using two of the weakest champions together. That that is some respect right there. Neverglade Collector, no. No respect for Maokai. Maokai getting no respect. Daylight breaks on the back. All right, I think I'm just gonna play the other Neverglade Collector right now. Hope they don't have Ravenous Flock to kill Maokai, but they do. I have Elixir of Iron. Ooh. Nah, let's just go Snapvine. Alright, there's our, our other Snapvine just got tossed. So if, if this doesn't work with these Snapvines, we don't have any backup option. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. I can play Haunted Relic, but Haunted Relic only gives me one snap vine right now. I like these blocks. I hope this happens. Go ahead, block. Do it. No. No. Go back and block. Alright, I guess I cast Stalking Shadows now. A beam of light to pierce the heavens. So maybe we draw the zero mana card, Ravenous Butcher. Mm, no Ravenous Butcher. Curse Keeper is two five threes. Warren's Prey is just one five three that also gets us another card. But like that other card could be something that's pretty awesome. Glorious light rains down. So we're gonna need to vengeance uh, Oleona over here. And that's that's the other thing, is like if I if I would have gone like the curse keeper, I could have vengeance and play curse keeper, but we have eight mana. I've dressed for the occasion. Man, Bastion's killing me. Bastion is literally killing me. Burn away doubt. You have to get me out of here. Mm. Please, I have connections. I cannot 
be broken. So go down to one. Really don't want my other overgrown snap vines to die. Be gone, thief. So I stay at six. Because the problem here is if they if they kill. Okay, this could actually work. So this this was down to four though. This is this is fine. So really, technically five. All right, yeah. But I was thinking like if they have pale cascade, and they kill this snap vine, we're in trouble. So I have to do it like this, so like that this hapless crab will die, and it will turn into a snap vine before this one dies. And I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should be switching these. Maybe I should be killing Vladimir. I guess we're not killing Vladimir, right? Because it's 6-5. So, yeah, this works. So, 5. So, Pill Cascade doesn't kill me. I'm tired of waiting. So, next turn, I could play Warden's Prey, Warden's Prey, and Pack Mentality. Um, but they, of course, can stun stuff. So, maybe we just go with the Blighted Caretaker. That's probably our first move, is Blighted Strange Caretaker. If we want to try pack mentality, we we can go Warden's Praise. But if we don't want to do pack mentality, we should be doing Blighted Caretaker. Let's just do the Blighted Caretaker. That'll fill the board pretty quickly. So they stun one of these. And then I just go right to attacks. Sunlight Such a pretty thing. Back heretic, I will protect you. So they could take ten and then nerfed Fury of the North, not killing them. <clears throat> Alright, so is it more important to kill Vladimir or Leona? I go Fury of the North and take out one of them. Leona, like, stuns some stuff. I guess because the, the Leona has the Overwhelm. I am worried about, like, Vladimir's just ability of, like, attacking with five other things and draining me out. But with the Overwhelm with Leona, we're going to go for this. Even new Leona I wouldn't be as worried about. One suffers, another thrives. Ugh. Well, that could be problematic for sure. Yeti Yearling. The Undying's pretty cool with Overground Snapheim. But unfortunately, I think these Zenith Blades are going to get us. This is Overwhelm. <clears throat> Fury of the North needs to be back to plus four, plus four. Or plus three, plus four. It's going to cost us. Ugh. Needed Wardens. Or needed Vile Feast. Definitely need Vile Feast. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. I think I just have to cast this right now, right? Pretty sure I'm still dead. Yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah, I'm still dead. I still take exactly five damage if they just attack out. Three, fr three from Vladimir, one from the Overwhelm of each of the six power things. Protect our people. No, I'm just even more dead now. Oh, that's true. Leona would have would have died. That's true. So I would have only taken four. 
but you know now it's now I'm dead. All right, cool game. So if I would have gone after, <clears throat> what's up? If I would have done the Fury of the North after the Vladimir, they would have had backup Vladimir. Close game, close game. Um, really, what the, the big difference was that in that game was the Bastion. How they had Bastion for my vengeance. That's what won my opponent that game. Alright, Nocturne Diana. We'll keep the rest of these. Ooh. I like that card. What does he want from me? Doggo. This is my dog puppy. Also, like my left hand over here, I'm petting my dog. My other dog, Harvey. I have two dogs. Puppy and Harvey. Harvey's laying on the floor right now. Darkness hides in my path. Okay, I'm gonna just pass turn. So I want to blight a caretaker. I don't want to like blight a caretaker right now. I kind of want them to play something first. Um, if I grab Wanderers will be better for tossing for Maokai. Um, but I, I kind of feel like Warden's Prey is better. But we do have another Warden's Prey. Alright, let's try Wanderer. Let's see if we can, like, you know, turbo toss. I guess. Ours is the one true light. Oh, I saw <laughs> Hey, we're playing some Legends of Runeterra right now, Prozer. That is the current game we're playing. My saplings. Attack, attack. Don't really see a reason to play this Caustic Cast. Alright, gonna kill this elusive. We won't be able to block that thing later. The chains, they never stop. Let's turn on their nightfall. Yeah, Doom Beast. Alright, Maokai. Do your thing. Play the cask right there. I kind of like this zero mana cask to go along with the snap bind, though. Um, but <clears throat> if I would play, I mean, I guess I could attack with my two one ones. I should have attacked with my one ones. Could have played the cask and then glimpse beyond immediately. Could have done that. Hey, Noza. Awesome, glad y'all are enjoying the game. Cool, really glad to hear. Just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to go deep. See if we can level up Maokai pretty fast. So that's 13. So I gotta either play Legion Grenadier or my other Dead Bloom Wanderer. Let's see, next turn's turn six. Let's play Glimpse Beyond on this thing. It's ephemeral, I'm gonna die. Another Snap Vine. I guess if, 
if I don't play that Grenadier, I could could have had Vengeance this turn. If we want Vengeance. Neverglade Collector, no! Our, our one copy of Neverglade Collector is gone. Unfortunately. 19 out of 25 for Maokai. Saved. So I basically wanted some more lifesteal. That's what I'm kind of thinking here. I know I could have played the snap behind this turn. I wanted more lifesteal. So 22. If I play Blighted Caretaker or Haunted Relic, we level up Maokai. Those sound like good options. Let's do it with Haunted Relic. Yeah, that the second part there, Smokey. I just prefer to, to dress with the low class. This is how I like to present myself. I don't know if I... That's still not a command. But yeah, this is just how I like to dress and present myself. Nothing nothing too fancy. I'd... Uh oh. That thing's scary. Where are they at? Three out of five? Oh, that's very scary. I guess I have vengeance. But if they go right to attack, I can't I can't block at all, can I? I would just vengeance this thing, I would take three, four, five, six, seven. I would just take seven, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, it's it's fearsome, sorry, it's not scary, it's fearsome. I tire of waiting. Do I vengeance now or just play overgrown snap mine? Or play pack mentality. I'm just gonna vengeance. So the one problem with vengeance is that they have another nocturne. Like that's that's the whole problem with playing vengeance. Is they could play another nocturne. Cygnus, how I missed your life. Thank the mother you're alright. What have mm. you learned? All right, down to seven. I wish I could play Overgrown Snapvine and Blighted Caretaker this turn, but I can't. Can't do them both. That doesn't. That doesn't heal me. That doesn't help. So got rid of their elusive card for now. Sisters. Yeah, the card just does nothing. And so life springs anew. Yeah, I know we just gotta stay alive, but if they if they have another Cygnus, I don't think I can. Oh no. Be quick and please be careful, Lyra. What does he want from me? That's not elusive. Cygnus. Uh. How I missed your life. Thank the mother you're alright. What have you learned? I guess I need to play the snap vine the turn uh I guess I need to play a turn seven instead of playing that. I guess yeah, I guess I just need to play a turn seven. Mother. 
Dang, we've had... All three of our losses have been nail biters. Cygnus MVP. I guess I should not have cast the Vengeance there also, right? Like whenever I cast the Vengeance on the Nocturne. Because maybe they go Cygnus on the Nocturne and then I kill the Nocturne and then they lose out on some damage that way. I guess that probably wouldn't have mattered. Ugh. Yeah, every, every game's been close, for sure. Alright, so we're playing against They Who Endure. We have our top end. We're gonna need some non-top end. I could love to see a Curse Keeper. Hapless Aristocrat's good. Where are you? Yeah, it's a good meme tier deck that we're playing. You know, it's not perfect. We're not gonna win every game. But we can do some really cool stuff. And have some fun playing, and that's... That's perfect. This is a good meme tier deck, for sure. <laughs> Here, Harvey galloping. Here's Harvey. Um, I'll hold the Stalking Shadows in hand, because I know I'm playing Blighted Caretaker next turn, at least. I think I am. Actually, let's play this. Okay. Another hapless aristocrat. Because I kind of want to make this block and not let them do their self kill stuff on the curse keeper. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just not sure if the blighted caretaker is even that good right now. Oh, thanks, Soul Raider. Yeah. Yeah, both of my doggos were strays, and... They are both very good dogs. They're both amazing. Alright, I'm really glad no Callista there. I was worried that they would just play Callista here on turn three, and then I, you know, I go challenge, challenge, and it just helps level up their Callista. So I'm glad they didn't. I know I'm I'm turning their curse keeper into a four three, but they have so many ways. Like this makes their this makes like their cursed keeper a lot worse. Makes that all their uh, self kill cards worse. I'm gonna play this, and next turn we'll play Maokai plus Hapless Aristocrat. I could save it with Elixir of Iron, but meh, we'll save Elixir of Iron for Maokai. My saplings. Bark Beast wouldn't be attacking, also. That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Alright, let's see. Let's go here. All right, so we're going to uh, beast. We're going to challenge for two, and uh, that's about it. That looks good. My speaker's a little loud. All right, so I like having the Dead Bloom Wanderers with the Life Steal. That could definitely be important for staying alive for this matchup. We gotta find our overgrown snap vine eventually. But for now, I think it's about leveling up Maokai. Yeah, let's just go let's just go Dead Bloom Wanderer. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should pro yeah, we should probably have a third snap vine. You're right, we probably should. I think I'm gonna pass turn. I do want to incentivize their attack. Okay, good. So basically I was worried about playing like another wanderer or something and then they just don't, they just don't attack and I, I don't have like much room to play another thing. Um, we gotta keep clearing room with Maokai. I also need to keep having units to, to continue to play with Maokai as well. Just us both throwing down a whole bunch of things to die. Oh no, Neverglade Collector! That one would have been good. So Maokai should be leveling up this turn. They're definitely looking for They Who Endure. Oh. That's fearsome. So we're at what, 23 out of 25? I'm just gonna sacrifice this and draw two cards. Don't love these things in hand. I wanna see what else we can find. Yeah, there's a snap vine. Fury of the North. That's interesting. We could use Fury of the North to take out the Dusk Rider. No, I'm just going to take this out. We can use that to block later. Okay, they're down to four cards left. So next turn we'll have... If I play... If I play Vile Feast this turn, next turn we'll have 10 mana. Um, which would not allow us to Vengeance and Fury. What is Pass Mode? We're getting the Sapling at the beginning of turn now. So we'll still have like three blockers for right now. Alright, that's the Ephemeral one. So they do have another regular They Who Endure. I don't know if I'm supposed to just be taking that hit for 10, because the other one's going to be bigger. That puts me back up to 20. And then we take two, so we're at 18. So yeah, Maokai block. I think it's. I don't think Maokai block is too necessary. So if I if I block, we save one life, but then it also makes the they who endure one more one larger. So I'm not sure if that's like a, a necessary thing. Um. All right, let's see. So overgrown snap mine. From death, life. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should be blocking. I would block the Hapless Aristocrat, not the Warden's Prey, if I would block, because I don't really want the Warden's Prey to die. What does he want from me? Let's try to set up Overgrown Snap by next turn. Again, I just won't even attack and kill some more things to make their They Who Endure bigger. I don't need to do that. Okay, I do like that glimpse beyond draw. That's a good draw. Cause yeah, we're we're setting up next turn pack mentality. Mm 
Love to find a vengeance here. Come on, vengeance. Vengeance. All right, not quite. Gotta get out of here. Not quite. You defile the grove. So we're down to twelve. It's not enough life. Sixteen. Sixteen will do. Haunted Relic and, you know, Grenadier or Curse Keeper. Might as well just be Curse Keeper, because we're going to have all five threes anyway. Yep, any way to stay out of Atrocity range, exactly. Oh no. Back in atrocity range. They've they've played a bunch of unspeakable horrors, right? That was the card that unspeakable horror just created. So I think we play pack mentality first. Yeah, I mean I guess we have to, because they they could just block, 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 and then I'm only doing fifteen, so yeah. We're gonna have to play pack mentality first. Yeah, so they they just need yeah, they need to be able to drain one more. So they need like another unspeakable horror, which I know they've played at least two unspeakable horrors. Um They'll, they'll only have 11 mana, so they can't play a new They Who Endure and then Atrocity the new one. They can't have that. That's a good... Vile Feast, of course, is a good draw because that stops... That stops Unspeakable Horror from killing me. So they... Oh, yeah, that's true. So they, have no, they have no cards left in their deck. They have none. So uh, this is the last turn for them. They don't get another attack. They have to kill me this turn. So, yeah, Vile Feast was a great draw. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't Vengeance good? Vengeance would have been the best draw, but it was next best. No, Maokai doesn't show what obliterates in the match history, no. No, because it'd have to show, like, 30 cards. And no, it doesn't do that. I don't even think it really shows it leveling up. Okay, yeah, like, it shows you what you, you toss, I think, whenever you're doing some toss stuff, I think, but... It looks like they went AFK. Because they know they're going to get Overgrown Snapbind. I like how every single Overgrown Snapbind 2, it says Overgrown Snapbind created this card. Like, that's also cool. Overgrown Snapbind created this card. It creates itself. And GG's. So there you go, that was cool. We're going to mill them out and also kill them with a whole bunch of overgrown snap vines. So pretty cool deck. Um, we didn't, like, it does kind of feel like we should be playing three overgrown snap vines, but that, ne that never really cost us in those games. Um, maybe playing, like, one haunting relic, one haunted relic would be a way to fit in a third overgrown snap vine. But yeah, while it, it did seem we wanted more snap vine and more Neverglade collector, we also have to think that uh, we can't, like, like we need all this cheap stuff in here, too. Like, we need tons and tons of units for uh, for Maokai, right? Because every turn we need to be playing a unit. The Glimpse Beyond and Stalking Shadows were both awesome. Um, Fury could maybe be cut. Possibly. I didn't dislike having Fury. I liked having some some kind of nice burst spell like that of, of like having the, the pump spell. I liked having Fury. Um, it didn't necessarily help us a ton, but I liked it. It did help us like that last game, right? Gaining that extra uh, six life that it did, or extra three life, sorry, that it did. Yes, Neverglade Collector 
had it was the reason why we got our first win uh draining against the scout deck it was it was much needed there and then against another opponent we had over we had neverglade collector and we went turn four maokai turn four, five collector and they sunburst killed my collector and that the collector would have won us the game it was it was smart by them collector would have won us the game so yeah the collector was good, was really good yeah, like maybe the Ravenous Butcher isn't necessary. Like, so that that could maybe be another snap vine. I mean, I actually need that Ravenous Butcher. When playing these games, it didn't really seem like we need a Ravenous Butcher. That could be a way to fit in another collector or snap vine. Maybe I'd go a second collector first before a second before a third snap vine. Get two of each of those in. That's what I'd probably do is get rid of that Ravenous Butcher for those. And then yeah, maybe a Haunted Relic. Haunted Relic's probably a card you only need one of. It's it's. It's only useful after you have like your Maokai, Neverlake Collector, Overgrown Snapbind, that kind of thing. It's probably not something you need two of. So there we go. So there's there's a way to fit in an extra copy of each of those is getting rid of the Ravenous Butcher and the Haunted Relic. Elixir of Iron was okay, but maybe not a three of. We talked about uh, if Elixir of Iron was Troll Chant, maybe we would have done a little bit better against those challengers i'm not sure but may maybe we could have won that game against the challengers potentially because i think that we may have been able to keep an extra thing alive if we had troll chance and if we could have kept an extra thing alive then we would have won that last turn with the caretaker how close that game was unspeakable horror is also an option i did like the vile feast and the drain one like how that gets rid of the spell, the Bastion spell shield for our vengeance. So that's something to be thinking about. So like, I would probably just go down to, um, I'd probably go down to two Elixir of Iron and play a third Stalking Shadows. Stalking Shadows looked awesome. I would probably, I would want a third Stalking Shadows. So that's, that's what I would do. I guess I would probably keep it Elixir of Iron for now. It is really nice having, having it just cost one mana. We saw that come up quite a bit um, of having, uh, just the one mana be important to have for the Elixir of Iron instead of two against removal spells. And it's already having other the other two mana spells with Stalking Shadows, Vile Feast, Haunting Relic, the one mana, being able to do both of those with spell mana, like a Vile Feast and Elixir of Iron with our three spell mana is important. All right, so there we go. There's Snapbind Mentality. I know we only went two and three, but those games were super close. A couple, you know, like all three of those losses, very close. Um, just some great games that we were playing here and that's that's all we want for meme tier monday that was a lot of fun those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video